Hello everyone, how you doing? It's Mike again. Uh, I know you guys probably getting sick and tired of these driving vlogs, but God is good, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like I was driving to go take back the flare kit that I had from Harbor Fate. And I was gonna take that back and then I was gonna go get the new flare kit. And then I was just gonna go, you know, to my parents' house to just meet up with one of my uh, friends and help him out with his project, what he was doing. And then I was while I was driving, I met up with this guy, I see these two E30s convertible. I see a white one that look like an M3, and I see another one behind it. And I thought, well, you know, that's that's rare to see those type of cars like that out here. So I happened to stop next to the guy at the light, and I was like, man, this is nice. And I figured, you know me, actually going to a car show, because nine times out of 10, if you see a pack of cars that look the same, they most likely go into a show or some event. So I asked the guy, and the guy's like, yeah, you know, there's a car show in Flushing Meadow Park. I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, you know, Blah, blah, blah. So we talked a little bit. I was like, you know, I got an e, I got an E28. I've been working on that car, and I'm trying to like, you know, get to the place where I can bring it to show that they said, yeah, man, you got to get it on. Now's the perfect time. Was you know, blah, blah, blah. the whole COVID thing, yada, yada, yada. So I'm I, right now. I hope you don't think I'm trying to stalk him, but I see him and his brother. He said his brother's in town, and his brother's driving his other car, and they headed to the spot. So he told me fresh and metal. I, I tried to Google it. I didn't see any like you know car show information. But I wanted to try to, like, you know, go to the show. So I was kind of following behind them. And I don't want them to be like, oh, this guy talking to me. And he's following me what he's trying to do. But they're going to the show. So it's like, it is what it is. But, you know, I feel that that be filmable content. You know, I brought my camera with me just in case. So now, when I get there, I can probably film from other cars. And film, like, some of the E30s and different things like that. And I hope I get to have a good time and be able to see that stuff. So I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just going to follow them. I know they're probably like, why is this guy following us? But hey, he did talk about the show. And I know I keep saying it a lot, but I would feel kind of weird too that somebody is talking to me about my car and they following me. So we'll see how it goes. And hopefully I get some good content, good filming for you guys. And we'll take it from there. Yeah, I got a good charge. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. I'm here. Mom. Go, run. I can't as to This, this could be me one day. So what's 28 and there's another one that's kind of slammed. spotted another e28 this one was really cool it was bagged it had um it was just nice it was clean um the gentleman there with his hands folded he is actually the owner i came started talking like hey man to the other guy the other guy's trying to tell me that he's not the owner but i'm still talking like i said this is like one of my first events coming like by myself you know it's kind of weird talking to random people sometimes about their car and i don't, don't want to be like I'm, I'm sweating you or like you know ruining your day in a sense but i know it's not like that and most of the people are pretty cool and 
they really want people to take a look at their car and everything like that. So I'm just talking to him right now. I'm just telling them my whole project and what I'm doing. I could pretty much, you know, tell it. They just like, all right, whatever, bro. Like, are you going to ask me some questions about my car? Or, you know what I mean? It is what it is. What? It was a cool experience. I'm glad I went again. Um, I have some more shots. I'm really sorry for the shaky camera. Um, I don't have a gimbal on my GoPro, and you know I'm walking around holding it the best I can. So, and you know, like I don't want to invade people's privacy. That's coming over there, filming this stuff. So I try to be kind of like um, casual and cool with it. But eventually, you know, the more these I come to, and eventually if I bring my car be more comfortable and stuff like that somebody from the forums reached out to me and told me that hey well, my friends was there so that was kind of cool so i'm just talking to them about the car and then he started telling me about what he was doing so that's pretty much it the realness the realness the realness the realness the realness the realness the realness
BMW with this old Dean over there. He probably gonna get this old cuz out when he's gonna burn out. You got people over here now. I just saw the guy who told me about the meat. He's over there somewhere. I should go over there and walk past him so you can see. And take care of it, you know what I mean? But my mom got the green home V. That kid right there was talking to me for a little bit. You know, just trying to get more people in this whole situation. I'm just sitting here because this is the closest place for me to sit. So I see some more cars coming around, so that's kind of cool. This is cool. I might stay here for a little bit. It's still young. Got my eye on that E28, man. That could be me right there, sitting there. You know my car will be slow as hell, but it's still there, you know what I mean? It's a nice M3 right here. Somebody said he did a swap with the engine, so that's kind of cool. He come from Jersey. It's dope, though. It's real nice. Nice interior. It's kind of small. You got the whole fam in there with a baby and everything. That's cool. I think that's the guy right there who told me about it. Yeah, he's backing up into the spot. So I'm going to go right over there and say, hey, man, blah, blah, blah. Damn. The guy in an armor shirt who's gonna like acknowledge me in a few seconds right there he was the guy who told me about it when i was driving he kind of looked relieved like oh man i thought this guy was something but you know he pretty did want to come to the show yeah there goes the e28 the guy i was talking to earlier about his car i just thought his car was pretty much in stock and i knew it was lowered and slammed but i didn't know he had bags until he did this right here when he look at that a dope fire looks good man he got a nice little front valence as well with the silver with the diving ball bumpers so that's something that i'm hopefully in the future can be able to get done the paint looks clean you know um he got little piece shooters in the back as far as exhaust he got custom sound system nice car a nice clean car i think it was a factory uh manual so it's cool he came through i guess he was talking to some of his peeps over here he came through this to bring it by like i said a lot of people knew each other here so it was kind of cool to see you know, people acknowledging one another and saying, hey, how you doing, blah, 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 how's the family, yada, 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 talking about their cars and trying to show some of the young, old heads trying to show some of the young dudes how they get down and vice versa. So it was cool. Really cool to see. I'm really glad I came. Right here, I'm getting a closer look at the guy with the orange shirts car. You know, it, it looks really clean. They got the engine bay, nice and shiny hooked up i think that's a i'm not sure what engine that is it could be an s50 maybe i'm assuming i think those came in those cars back then or maybe he did a swap like the other kid but i doubt it um interior is clean not a big fan of uh convertibles but this one is really nice the kid i was talking to earlier was saying that he think this is a clone because these cars are very rare to have but i don't know you know you just don't know now like this guy came with two cars his brother drove his other car so you never know some people are collectors he might have gotten this back in the day when they first came out he might have got it somewhere else and drove it back so i ain't really a hater like that you know damn
Brooklyn, 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 see some of those classic BMWs. Cool to see the drivers of these cars. I see the state of some of these cars. I saw a couple of E28s just too. That was cool. Hopefully got one the next year. Once I get my car running and in a decent state, I too could be here and have my car out on display with my family and everything like that. So it was cool, it was a nice experience. I'm glad I stumbled upon that guy and saw him and heard what he said because I would have never known about this and never found out about the car meet or the place to join up with a car meet so very fortunate thank God for that anyway I want to thank you guys again for watching please like comment share and subscribe thank you enjoy the rest of your day and God bless